it, it's just the arch rather than trying to really reach with it. And you often don't have a very extreme flex. It's sort of a neutral, natural foot or a slight extension through the arch. This is a slight extension. Lalita Pada. Next to the ankle bells here, Nupur Pada. The needle, or Ashrita. Flat, Tresha Pada. The same as in the Tribhangi. And both parallel, Rekha Pada. Okay. Let's do this in, uh, in Tala. So you'll have um, four counts in the position and four counts of transition to right and left. Ready? And ta e ti na ka teeny change. Ta to the pitcher. Hold it. Heels touching. Danupada. Put across. Mahapada. Bend. The ankle is right on top of the knee. Around Ekapada. Stand up straight, both legs straight. Knees touching. Lalitapada, the passe. Just by the side of the knee, not in front. Good. Nupurapada, right by the ankle. Up on the ball of the foot. Heel forward, not tickle. Trishapada. This is the Tribhangi, a little more open. Remember, we went out from third. Straight. Straight parallel. Some feet are a little. And again, the other side. Turn out and the pitcher, Kumbhapada. Tanupada, the bow. Press the Mahapada. Just relax your ankle on top of the foot. Around Lalitapada. Knees touching. Back to Lalita. Nupur. The needle, Ashita. Flat, Freshapada. This tempo. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Kiti ta ka ta. All right. Now this is open stand. Ta e ti na ka ti ni ta e ti. Na ka tini ta. Double. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bend. Thumbs in. Bend. Then to the left side, one, two, one, two, three. 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 One, Double 
and one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, great. That was nice. Um, it could be like something is cutting my heart, your words, what you're saying. But also, um, I can use it to show the eyes, which are like a fish. Right? Katakamuka. My, you are the peacock, thumb touching the third finger. The peacock. Krishna always wears a peacock in his hair and plays the flute. So you'll always see that the flute and the peacock, Mayur. This is the half moon, the moon in the sky, all right? And uh, I might see a bud of a flower, all right? Um, if you touch your thumb to the first joint of your first finger here, right there, and the second finger down, Katakamuka, I could use this if I were holding cymbals and playing them, if I were holding my veil because I was feeling shy. Um, Katakamuka. This one that we did, thumb to first finger, is the eye of the swan. This one, thumb and little finger up, Hamsapaksha, the wing of the swan. This one would be, often we show a woman, that uh, there is a woman, there's a man, maybe Krishna, and they've come together. Okay, so this will often be a woman. Um, Bend your first and third finger, Shukachanchu, the parrot's beak, a snake, a snake. There are 28 of these, and then there are 24 double hand gestures, gestures that can only be made with two hands combined. For instance, a fish, right hand on top of the other, thumbs turning. Now, this is just the hand gesture. Relax your elbows a little. This is just the hand gesture for the fish, but then it has to be added with the head and the body, and then you get something that's more like a fish. Or a tortoise. If you take the half moon and put the other hand on top of it, bend the fingers down, and let your little fingers stick out and your thumb stick out, then you have a tortoise. Okay. Um, uh, palms to your dizzy walk. You turn to in, the heel touches with the foot flexed. After it's touched, then it turns, and you're up on the arch, and turn, okay? Back up a little bit. Let's do from the beginning of that. So from the beginning, feet together, sambhapada, hands in front, should be a straight line from elbow to elbow, and namami, greetings, vignaraja, Turn out your left leg. Twum, you. Under the tree, here's the trunk and the branches. And up, the other hand down. The, uh, from shoulder to elbow is, a, is an equal line. Not both from elbow to hand is straight forward. But the right palm is up and the left palm is down. Thumb out. Right? And while we do this, the back foot is going to make a rond de jambe on the toe all the way to front, and when it gets there, turn it out up on the arch. Okay? So we were with the foot in back here, that he was sitting under the tree. Now, bring this foot around and show his mother, Uma. This foot is a little more open. A little more open. It's sort of lined up with the heel. Uma is very proud. So we step to the side, bring this foot up, Mahapada, and we show him resting on her knee. He's a very handsome boy. Then, into choke, out, with a very great presence. He's very impressive. Then after that, we show his elephant ear and his tusks. 
This is the Simha Mukha, thumb to the second two fingers. Beautiful tusks out on a diagonal. And his wonderful dancing. He's a great dancer. This hand will come overhead. And the foot again will make a little rond and turn. Yeah, the right hand also will come with that. You'll end up there. So from, uh, from here, where he has the tusks and the ear, follow this around. OK. Let's do from the beginning. Haraja, Twum, you, under the wishing tree, Kalpa Bruksham. Bend, don't overcross. Talastitam, are sitting. Your mother, goddess Uma, is very proud of this great presence, Mahakayam, Dhantikam, the handsome tasks. Nutya Kubidam is wonderful dancing. Right. Now we've mentioned his mother. Now we mention his father. And this is very high praise because his father is Lord Shiva. Profile, look up at the top hand and just with the foot, right foot flex, just lift it up. Okay? The more you bend on.